morning, everyone. Welcome back. It is a snowy <laughs> spring morning. We got about three inches last night and we still have a light snow coming down. We need the water, but I'm, I'm done with this. I'm ready for some warm weather. I'm ready to plant my garden. I want to get out and start working. So today I'm participating in a challenge from Linda at the Little Homestead, Lori at Whippoorwill Holler, and Leslie, the farming pastor's wife. And this is a challenge called Meatless Monday. Now it's difficult times and there's, we're pretty much staying at home unless you're an essential worker. There's a difficulty to go shopping because of this virus and there's difficulty to get some ingredients and we need to live as much as we can out of our pantry. So this Meatless Monday is meant to help with giving you ideas so that you can live out of your pantry but also maybe cut back on your food bill a little bit because first things are more expensive because of supply and demand. But also a lot of people are out of work. They have expenses and they don't have income coming in. So we're trying to help you come up with ideas to eat out of your pantry, to reduce the cost of at least one meal a week by taking out the meat. So what I chose to do is another one of my frittatas because I love them. And it's something I can have on my keto diet, although I've had to adjust a few recipes. This one is a little more unusual and you may or may not have the exact ingredients, but you can substitute and that is one of the beautiful things about a frittata. So today I am making an artichoke frittata and it's one of my very favorite frittatas. So come on, let's get started. The first thing you need to do is get some marinated artichoke hearts. And I buy this large jar at Costco come two to a pack because they're inexpensive. But I'm only going to use about a cup chopped. So I'm going to pull these out of here. And these are normally pretty good, but like this one is a little tough. So I'll pull that one off. And you want to just not finely chop, but just cut them up a little bit. You don't want these giant chunks. just want to distribute the artichoke throughout the frittata. And again, if you find any leaves that are kind of tough, just take them out. They're not going to be good in it. It doesn't have to be exact. Now, if you can't, if you buy the small jars of artichoke hearts, I think they're about eight ounces, you'll need two of those. 
But out of this, I'm gonna put about a cup. Well, I may add a, add a little bit more, just because I really like them. Now I'm preheating my skillet and I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. I don't measure, but I want it to coat the bottom. Now I have one small onion and two cloves of garlic that I have chop the onion and mince the garlic and I'm just going to saute these and to this I'm going to add about a quarter cup of the artichoke marinade and there's even a little oil in there and that's okay. going to cook this for several minutes because what we want is for that to reduce and all of that flavor to come out. So while that's cooking, I'm going to turn it down. It's just starting to simmer. And I'm going to turn it down and keep it at a simmer for about five minutes. Now we're going to go prepare the rest of it. All right, normally I would use six eggs, but some of these are kind of small, so I'm going to use seven. And they're coming in in all colors now. My hands finally started laying. But whatever eggs you have, I just am fortunate to have beautiful hands making beautiful eggs. So I'm gonna put these all into my mixing bowl. Yesterday, I used up several double yolkers. These are small, though. Now, I want to beat those up. While this is all heating, I'm going to preheat my oven to 300 degrees. Now to my beaten eggs, I'm going to add oh, a pinch of pink salt. About half a teaspoon of black pepper. About a teaspoon and a half of oregano. And these are some lovely dried leeks that came from my friend Inga in Denmark. And I'm going to add some of those. Maybe a teaspoon. Now to that, I'm going to add about two cups of shredded cheddar cheese. And about 
about a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. And whatever kind of hot sauce you like or not, you don't have to. I'm just gonna put a few shakes in there. You can add more or you can add none. It's totally up to you. It just gives it a nice flavor. Now to that, I'm gonna add my chopped artichoke hearts. And just stir that all together. It's really not hard. Now as this is cooking down, I'm just going to kind of run this along the sides because I'm going to bake this in the same skillet. You don't have to. You can do a 9 by 11 baking dish, but I've already got this skillet dirty and I can use it right into the oven. So I need it greased. So what I'm gonna do is just get the sides oiled from the liquid in here. And I wish you could smell this, it smells amazing. just trying to cook out most of the liquid. But we want all the flavor and that's what we're getting. Now I'm just going to take out the onions and stir them into my egg mixture. And I'm going to stir them because I don't want them scrambling the eggs right now. And if you have a lot of excess oil, you can pour some off, but I don't. And I'm turning the heat off now. Give this a final stir. And then I'm gonna pour it into that same pan. Get that yummy cheese out. And just kind of distribute, make sure it's kind of distributed through the pan. Now I'm going to put this in a 300 degree oven and it'll take 20 to 30 minutes. So I'll bring you back when it's coming out. Okay, my frittata is done. I put a knife or pick in the middle to make sure that it comes out clean. And I look around the edges and they're a little bit browned and the top is nice and set. So it's done. So let's get some of this out of here. It's still pretty hot, so it's not quite fully set. There it is, and it smells so, so good. This is my favorite of all my frittatas. 
I'm gonna move this because it's really hot. All right, so I'm gonna take a taste and get the egg and get some of that artichoke and cool it because it's super hot. Mm. It's so good because of that marinade in there. Now, if you don't have marinated artichoke hearts or you're not a fan of artichoke, use some Italian dressing. Use what vegetables you have and you could add bacon or ham or whatever meat you might have available. You can add that also. But for a meatless dish, you can use all kinds of vegetables in a frittata and they are just this easy to prepare. A little bit of time, but not bad. But that little bit of the marinade or Italian dressing just really knocks the flavor up so much. And then the cheddar cheese and the Parmesan. Mm. And this is keto friendly. I can eat this stuff and boy, I love it. So I just want to thank you for watching. And I want to thank these beautiful ladies that are participating in this challenge with me. Linda at the Little Homestead, Lori at Whipperwool Holler, and Leslie at the Farming Pastor's Wife. Just thank you, beautiful ladies. And I am going to enjoy this thoroughly. So I hope this gives you some ideas, things that you can do that are inexpensive, that are tasty, and that kind of pull from your pantry. So thank you for watching. God bless, and we'll talk again soon.